Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter what sport you're betting on. So, as we get towards the end of the uh, 2019 calendar year, the NBA season is really in full swing and starting to heat up. And we have some good uh, matchups in store for you on Friday, December the 20th. And if you're not already a member, please join up and you will have access to the VIP. Decode VIP Club section with all these great tools to help you make your picks even better. So let's scroll down through here to see what we have in store for some of the action. And we are going to start things off with looking at the Detroit Pistons and the Boston Celtics. Boston is in a three-way battle with the 76ers and Raptors in the Atlantic Division. They are sitting second. They host the Pistons, who are third in the Central Division. You see, Detroit is four and two over the last. Six, they are average up. The Celtics are average. They have lost their last two, but they have won four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that Boston has an edge there at plus 24 to plus 11. Head to head, so far the teams have not played yet this season. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you see that Detroit is trending in games over the line, while Boston is trending in games under the line, so probably best to avoid the over under in this game. Look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are. You see both teams are pretty stable. Boston at plus 14, and uh, Detroit at plus 7. Boston is performing more consistently than according to their favorite underdog status. Avoid the over-under in this game, like I said before, but as far as the, the total for the game goes, as far as who's going to win, look for Boston to come away with a relatively easy win at home. How about the Washington Wizards and the Toronto Raptors? Like I said before, Toronto is in that battle with Philadelphia and Boston. Uh, they are third in the Atlantic Division. The Wizards are at the bottom in the Southeast Division. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you'll see that Toronto holds a plus 16 to plus 3 advantage there. Head to head, all well, the teams have not yet faced each other this season. What have they done lately? Well, you can see the Wizards are dead status. They have lost their last four and five out of their last six. Toronto is not much better. They're ice cold up. They have won two out of their last six. If thinking about the over and under in this one, you see that Washington is playing in games trending under, as is Toronto, so going under is the best way to go in this one. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, see how stable the two teams have been. Both teams are pretty stable, but you see Toronto is very stable at plus 14, which means they're really doing well as favorites and losing as underdogs. They're at home in this one. They will be the favorites, and they should have little trouble taking care of Washington in this game. Now we take a look at the Dallas Mavericks and the Philadelphia 76ers. Dallas heads into Philadelphia, first in the Southwest Division. They take on the first place Sixers in the Atlantic Division. This should be the game of the day. If you look at the status lately, Dallas is average and they have one four out of their last six, although they've lost two out of their last three. Philadelphia is burning hot down. They have won five out of their last six. Taking a look at the power ranking indicator, you see both teams are near the top. Philadelphia at plus 27, Dallas at plus 24. Considering the over and under, the Dallas is playing in games trending over the line, while Philadelphia is playing in games trending under the line. So, probably again, avoid the over under in this game. Always like to look at the stability. And you see Philadelphia is at plus 17. They're performing very well as favorite and underdog, and particularly at home, where they have not yet lost a game this season. They will lose one eventually, but I just have a feeling that the 76ers will continue to take care of home court, this time winning in a very slim margin. And we'll take a look at a couple more games here. The Phoenix Suns and the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Suns got off to a good start this season, but now are fourth in the Atlantic Division, excuse me, in the Pacific Division. Uh, they're ice cold down, having lost four out of their last six, as you can see here. Oklahoma City is averaged down, and they have won three out of their last six. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams have not yet met this season. 
power ranking, you can see both teams are on a downward trend. Oklahoma City was at plus 19, they're down to plus 14, while Phoenix is now at plus 12. Volatility, how stable are the two teams? Well, Oklahoma City is the more stable of the two units at plus 10 compared to plus 3. We're going to have an over-under to predict on this one. Well, let's see. Over for Phoenix and under for Golden City. So again, it's probably wise not to play the over-under because the teams are trending in opposite sides of the line. Overall, what do I think about this matchup? Well, uh, the best bet is probably on the Thunder because they are at home. They are the better team overall, and they have been more consistently winning when favorites. So take them to win in this one. We have one more game we want to look at here. The Orlando Magic and the Portland Trailblazers. Orlando, Maver Orlando Magic excuse me, are average at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. Trailblazers are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that Orlando is at plus 12. Portland is at plus 9. You can see both teams are on a downward trend, though. Head-to-head, uh, -head, what have the two teams done this season against each other? They have not yet faced each other. Portland enters the game last in the Northwest Division, and uh, Orlando is playing well. They are second in the Southeast Division. Take a look at the totals predictor. You see that Orlando is playing in games trending under, and Portland is playing in games trending well under. So here's a game where betting the over under is a wise choice. Bet the under in this one. How stable are the two teams? Orlando is extremely stable at plus 18. One of the most stable teams in the league. Portland is also very stable, but not as stable as Orlando. I think in this one here, Orlando is the better unit. I think that they will overtake Portland. And this is the only game out of the five that, we're, that we are covering that I think the, uh, the road team will win. So go with the Magic to win in this one. So before we go, I want you to take a look here. Take uh, notice of the top performing automated systems. You want to consult this as we head into the new year. So there's all kinds of things going on here. You can select your sport. You see it says all sports. Pick whichever one you want. Profit time. Profit method. Scroll down through here, you can see all the charts, you can see the system name, uh, ROI, average deviation, trust percentage, and profit. Profit's probably the most uh, that you will be concerned with. But anyway, you can take a look at any one of these systems. These are the best ones. They'll help you make your bets. They'll make them more consistently, and you will win big. So there you have it. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your holidays. And we will see you next time for another great video, and happy betting.